that uh, here you have covered all the basics of harmonic pattern plus software. Uh, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to develop your trading strategies. Uh, before you go to live trading with real, real money, it's always good to develop your trading strategy in the back testing first. So you know what will be your expectation with these trading strategies. So to do this, I'll take you to six different steps, uh, which is outlined on here. So I will go through one by one, and then uh, I will also show you how to do it on the MetaTrader, basically. Uh, first of all, I'm going to open the MetaTrader. I'm going to open any chart. Um, let's just uh, quickly read uh, uh, our outlines here. The first one is count the success rate of each patterns. Um, it is always good to know uh, your uh, your systems uh, statistical uh, properties so often the important thing is the success rate and you may you need to have a habit of uh, recording the success rate of your trading system all the time and secondly uh, which time frame shall we use um, shall we use uh, for our trading system because of a, a different time frame tend to behave differently and then some trading system maybe do better in hourly but they may not do any good in the daily chart so you need to know which time frame uh, you should uh, select uh, and also uh, likewise uh, which currency pair is also quite important as well and I mean the, the your profitability can be varied uh, depending on your currency pairs uh, I don't know why but it, some currency pair tend to work better with harmonic patterns than the others ironically and remember the harmonic patterns are not bulletproof uh, strategy is always you need to apply with the cautions and uh, uh, other confirmations the fourth uh, what technical indicators uh, do we need to use to confirm the complete pattern formations and this is also important topics and the fifth uh, what technical indicators we might use to uh, actually uh, improve our uh, take profit and stop losses and sixth uh, briefly talk about what time is to we enter the market um, so let's go back to our MetaTrader um, and just uh, I'll open the gold chart XAUD USD and then I will uh, just load our Harmonic Pattern Plus software. So if you go here, okay. So to stick with our first point, the count success rate of each pattern, um, I will probably recommend you to make some sort of like spreadsheet like this, uh, just a simple one. Then basically what you do is basically record uh, the patterns and then the retracement level. For example, in this gold chart, you got a butterfly patterns and then your price action loss actually hit the 38 point to uh, retracement level. This is important because of the, this can uh, be our take profit levels. So, um, so record that butterfly and then 38.2% uh, retracement level. And then do it for another patterns, previous one. And uh, again, butterfly and hit the 38.2% retracement level. So just record it. Retracement level. And then do it again for now. This time we have a bad pattern. So hit the 61.8% retracement level. So 618 level. In theory, you should do at least 20, 30 different patterns to get the valid statistical uh, uh, claims, right? But uh, remember, this is only tutorial, and I want to I only want to give you some example. So I'm only going to do only three patterns, only, right? Um, so this is our first task. By recording these uh, patterns and the retracement level, we will know, uh, you know. We will have a more confident about trading strategies, and we can know what can what kind of a expected return can we get out of our trading strategies. And this first task, and let's uh, go back to our second task. And uh, which time frame uh, shall we use to do this task? Uh, we open this another chart um, with a different time frame. So gold, same gold chart, but with H4 time frame. We apply the um, uh, harmonic pattern plus again, right? So basically, now um, 
going to step two. I will just copy and paste our previous process, and then I will create a separate columns uh, recording our H4 time frames. So do the same for H4 time frame here. Yeah? So the first pattern we found is uh, Gartley patterns, and then it's uh, almost gone up to 50 point um, retracement level, but it didn't hit. So let's take a 38.2 as a take for the level. Yeah. So, so Gartley uh, and then 38.2 percent uh, retracement level, and then previous one will be shark patterns, right? Um, and the shark patterns. Uh, actually went to all the way down to 261.8% level so just uh, record it, shark patterns 261.8% yeah and the previous one will be the ABCD patterns and it all the way up to the nearly 100% but uh, didn't hit quite yet so let's record the 61.8% only right so BCD uh, 61.8% so in theory, as I said before, you should do any 20, 30 different patterns and you need to compare uh, which time frame is better. So this way you, you can increase your profitability, right? So that was our task two. Um, that was our task two. Now then uh, we'll move on to our third uh, task, which currency pairs, right? To do this, uh, we basically open the another chart. Right, and apply the harmonic pattern for software. Uh, actually, there was a new pattern form, uh, so so that's we get the sound alert here. Right. So okay, do the same for uh, Euro AUD. Uh, then, um, but this pattern is just newly formed, so you know we don't know yet whether how much the price will go down. Yet. So let's do it from our uh, second patterns here yeah, from this one. So as you see, the second pattern, uh, butterfly, hit only 23.6 retracement level, right? So uh, let's, let's copy this to our step 3. And cr I created a uh, totally separate columns for Euro AOD on the next. Yeah. So butterfly, uh, 23.6. Uh, 20, um, yeah? first pattern and then second pattern will be uh, I guess it's still ongoing process the ABCD patterns right still ongoing process but just to, for example to give an example let's uh, record the 23.6 uh, 23.6 as uh, the level hit and the previous one we got another butterfly and it hit 23.6 as well Okay, so um, as you as you can compare, uh, there's quite dramatic difference between uh, gold and the uh, euro AUD. Just like this, you you repeat this process for many different currency pairs, then you will get uh, to know which uh, currency pair will be the best to apply this harmonic pattern uh, strategies. Uh, and then the the fourth is very important. Because about the beginners tend to enter the uh, trading too early, even before the pattern is completely formed. So to prevent this kind of early uh, entrance, you need to use a second and third uh, double uh, confirmation with other technical indicators. Uh, the useful one I found is um, relative strength index and then stochastic oscillators and then commodity channel indexes. These three are quite useful. So I I probably show you how to how to use it on, on your chart. Yeah. So go to um <coughs> so into overlay relative strength index and stochastic oscillators uh, and also uh, commodity channel indexes. Yeah. <coughs> so as you see, um I use a default setting only. I use default setting and you need to you need to see. When there's bullish patterns, we are expecting actually uh, uh, oversold conditions, right? So it's sold too much, so there should be some buy movement uh, follow. That's why it's uh, bullish, right? So when there's over oversold conditions, we will have 
the readings of RSI and stochastics and CCI are quite low values, right? So that's logical. So uh, naturally, when the pattern is formed, you should have a very low uh, RS values and stochastic values and CCI values, right? So do this for many different patterns. Check. Uh, vice versa, uh, when you have uh, the bearish patterns, it means that we have uh, the price went up too high, so it's time to go down. So this is uh, like overbought condition this time. So if you uh, uh, use the RSI and stochastic and CCI, as you see, it will be very high values. So you can uh, you can actually double confirm using these uh, oscillators, uh, you know, to find out if these patterns are completely formed or not. So this will increase your success rate. Uh, this was our fourth. And then what technical indicators to decide to take profit and stop losses? That's our fifth task. Uh, you might just stick with the Fibonacci retracement level, but uh, sometimes I recommend you to use some other technical indicators to assist you to make decision on this. Take profit and stop losses. So I probably recommend you with the moving average and the Ichimoku uh, cloud. So let's just have a look. Uh, uh, if you just overlay some moving average. I recommend you to have a moving average with a period greater than 50, 50 or 60, you know, greater, uh, not the small one, fast one. And also you can see uh, Ichimoku cloud uh, with just cloud only, yeah? So see uh, here, the Gartel pattern formed and beautifully, uh, price beautifully come down and then bounces. And it actually going to nearly 100%, but you could probably take a profit somewhere at this point. So it's probably similar for this one as well. Um, I, this one is all the way up down. You probably uh, need to listen to the fundamentals. But you know, you can develop your own trading strategy like this, right? Uh, so this case, uh, it's more cloud was act as a, a resistance level. So. So see um, how you can use these uh, technical indicators to decide to take profit and stop losses level. Yeah. Uh, and our fifth point, uh, sixth ma final point is what timing should we enter the market? And normally, uh, if you go to uh, normally when the pattern is formed, uh, in this case. When this pattern is formed, you will know at this point uh, pattern is formed. So uh, you can actually start to enter the trade from this point, but I will probably advise you not to do immediately because quite often the price will pull back again and uh, it will form the new patterns, right? So wait for the confirmation a little bit. At least half bar or one hour bar. Uh, or at least half bar or one bar, yeah? And this half power one bar wait for it. And if, uh, like this case, uh, this is okay. Uh, like this case, if uh, price is suddenly jump, right? Then waiting for one confirmation bar can be actually quite tricky. In this case, if you, I assume that there must be quite a strong fundamental data just out. Uh, so this is why the, there's big gaps in the price move. If you know the fundamentals and if you know the we have ABCD pattern there, if you are fast enough, you can probably enter at the beginning of the uh, bar to take a profit uh, and it's on here or you know onward, right? So uh, the the bottom line is here is that uh, always wait for the confirmation uh, and then don't just enter uh, immediately after the pattern is formed, right? Always wait for the confirmation candle, yeah. And also another bottom line is. Uh, do nothing is better than entering the better trading. If you are about to enter better trading, think about think once more. You just uh, better to do nothing, right? So this is two important bottom lines. Okay. So um, when you when, before you go to your live trading, you must uh, do your back testing uh, with your harmonic pattern uh, trading systems. So when you do your back testing. You, you can stick with uh, the six outlines I pointed 